You know you go broke trying to handle me Take it from someone who know how to handle me I'ma need a real grown kind of energy uh? Do you know, do you know? Cause you're dealing with a lot of competition You're gonna have to do a lot of ass kissing You know I got someone with the time to listen Tell me boy, do you know, do you know? Greetings, transit community, and welcome to the review of the 2021 and 2022 new flyer Excelsior XDE40s. These buses are the second order of new flyer XDE40s ordered for New City Transit and MAP STOA, and also the first large order of XDE40s. Fleet numbers ranges from 9416 through 9499 and 9510 through 9619. The depots that they were originally delivered to and currently based out of are East New York, Grand Avenue, Mother Clara Hale, and Michael J. Quill. As of June 2022, all of the XZ40s from Michael J. Quill have been transferred to Manhattan Bill Depot. Now for the bus's powertrain is that these buses signify the use of the Cummins V6.7 engine. However, 9416 through 9499 features the BAE HDS200. And 9510 through 9619 have the Allison H40 EP propulsions. Doors closing. This stop is Broadway and Mark Washington Plaza and Lane 1. In 2018, the MTA originally had 10 pilot units of the 2018 New Flyer Excelsior XDE40s. Each half of the units has the same engine, but are also powered by the Allison and BAE propulsions like the recent ones today. Originally, these buses were to be delivered from October 2020 to the end of 2021. However, due to the New Flyer plant closing during the coronavirus epidemic, production of these buses was delayed. It was eventually decided to deliver the pilot bus in August 2020 along with the Nova Bus LFS Hybrid Pilot, shortly after reopening for production. Otherwise, two buses, 9510 and 9560, were delivered to the city by October 2020. When the following month of November 2020 came, both were delivered to the East New York Bus Depot. Thus, 9510 was spotted in the Bronx making cold rays before it was delivered to the depot. By May 2021, both of these buses were sent back to the new Flyer Industries plant in order to be mechanically in reconstructed. 
On July 6, 2021, Mother Clara Hill Depot became the second depot to run their new XDE 40s in service with number 9566. By September 17, 2021, Michael J. Quill Depot started running theirs with number 9592. By November 15, 2021, East New York Depot had more XDE 40s since the two pilot units went back and first ran these with 9516. By December 9, 2021, Grand Avenue Depot, which houses the city's first XDE 40s from 2018, had theirs and ran with the first unit, 9540. In January 2022, units 9510 and 9560 came back to the city. 9510 was redelivered to East New York and 9560 was redelivered to Mother Clara Hale Depot. By February 3rd, 2022, it was the start of the option order with the 2022 New Flyer XDE 40s. 9422 was the first of these option orders to run out of Michael J. Quill Depot. By April 2022, Michael J. Quill Depot had a deal with Manhattanville to swap each hybrid model, the New Flyer XDE 40s and the Novabus LFS hybrids. Therefore, in order for each of these two depots to familiar, familiarize themselves with each model, Michael J. Quill gave up all of their XDE 40s in Manhattanville for their LFS by June 2022. Like the 2018 XDE 40s we have, these new XDE 40s are the second to be coded in a blue and gold Andrew Cuomo livery scheme, along with Wi-Fi and USB ports and via Nova screens for stop and transfer announcements. However, they are the first to feature the wide size Ventura plug plug sliding doors with uneven electric front doors and the interior has a rearranged low floor seat, seating section since 9510 came to the city it was spotted running the b12 to prospect park on november 12 2020. on december 3rd i tried the 9510 running the b45 so i jumped on a dollar bus on my way to eastern parkway and the rest and ran the rest of the way to st john's place there i taped the bus heading towards ralph avenue as its terminal on March 28, 2021, it was Palm Sunday. I was walking down Flatlands Avenue, and there I caught 9510 entering East 108th Street to jumpstart the B-17 bus service towards Crown Heights. On September 26, I was in Midtown Manhattan, and I hopped on 9592 on the M50. I rode for two stops until it turned onto East 50th Street. Then, in the following month, I also saw 9594 on the M20 route through Times Square. On December 15th, I was reporting to work at the King's Plaza Shopping Center, and I caught 9539 starting the service on the B47 towards Bedford-Stuyvesant. Then on the following day, I was traveling to the movie theater in East New York and coming back home, where I found 9523 running the B83 on Van Sicklin Avenue, and I saw 9517 running the B17 on Remsen Avenue. On December 28th, I rode 9524 as my first of East New York's XDE 40s. I rode on my way back home on the B17. The second time I rode another of East New York's units was 9522 on the B83 towards the Gateway Shopping Center on March 2nd, 2022. This was also the first time I ever rode the B83 route. On May 8th, it was Mother's Day. On my way to work at King's Plaza again, I rode 9549 on the B47, and it was the first of Grand Avenue's new XDE 40s I rode on that day. On the last day of March 2023, I rode 9548 on the B60 to Canarsie from Brownsville. On May 11, 2024, I rode number 9527 on the B82 towards Van Sicklin Avenue for the B83 bus. On May 30th, I rode 9518 on the B17 on my way home, which was the very, the very last recent time that I did. Now here are the analytics. Like the 2018 units, as these buses are the pre-step basic vehicles behind the electric buses, they make more courage for an eco-friendly city that MTA was helping to accommodate. The most obvious features to tell between these and the 2018 units are the doors front and rear. The widening rear doors not only slide apart, but they also provide more space for passenger passengers to exit to and help reduce wait times at the bus stops. And the front doors that are electrified, like the ones in the rear, are much quieter to operate compared to the air-assisted doors you will hear and see on the older Excelsiors. Since 2018, when we had our first XDE 40s, those and their recent counterparts have copied the looks of the new Flyer XN 40s, XD 40 from 2021 and newer, and the XE 40s. Unlike those buses, their roof lines have hybrid bus stamps containing the chargeable batteries inside. The 2018s have the same roof lines, but their stamp says clean 
air hybrid electric bus. The XZ40's rear panel are notable with three vent circles on the left corner of the rear and their bottom half says hybrid bus. And the engine and propulsions they have are what the LFS hybrids signify. This is why they call the XZ40's as the new fly rivals to those Nova buses. Out of all the depots that have these buses in their fleet, Grand Avenue Bus Depot has the most all-time XZE40 since over six years ago. I found this depot to be the best in the New City Transit bus system to accommodate any electrified buses followed by other depots such as Michael J. Quill Bus Depot and Manhattanville Bus Depot inside of Map Stoa. In fact, Fresh Bond Depot has to run XD40s at least four times since last year on their routes as those buses were loans. In April 2023, Manhattanville gave Canes Bridge Depot num number 9424 and 9597 as their loan since they gave up their buses to Queens Village Depot. In December 2022 and April 2023, Tuskegee Airmen Depot were always given XDE40s a few times whenever they had a shortage. I am proud to say that these 2021 and 2022 XDE40s are the best XDE40s to ride with, especially with more accessibility accommodations. And the best proportion I prefer for all of these units to have citywide is the BAE HDS 200. Now the rate for these buses is a 10 out of 10. So thank you guys for watching, like, comment, share, subscribe, and enjoy your rides on these newer New Flyer XDE 40.
听我讲，我。